guys thank you for tuning in and welcome back once again to the channel it's always an honor to have you to stop by and check out what we have to say uh, you guys good man good morning good afternoon or good evening wherever you're watching mr. J from uh, I want you to know that uh, we are probably more for land over here and uh, this is mr. J speaking now um, this vlog man I want us to talk about um, the issue of corruption that um, is very very rampant in South Africa and I think in a couple of my vlogs I have I have hinted about this whole beef online between the Nigerians and the South Africans it's actually an issue of corruption but before we do that man hey it would be an honor to have you be part of the family think about being part of the channel I mean hit that subscribe button smash that like and let's get into it so ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are almost a month into this whole beef situation online, this whole propaganda online, the xenophobia, the hate speech, uh, the calling for banned Nigerians to come to South Africa, send uh, immigrants home, no foreigners needed, ministers did all of that. And, and you guys know, man, if you have been following me for the past two weeks, I have been saying this, that um, I do not believe that my brothers in, in South Africa are really understanding what is our foot. And there is a vlog I talked about corruption, bribery, and I also talked about there have been photos of officials at the Home Affairs selling documents, South African documents to foreigners. And this, I will tell you, it's, uh, it's, it's a sad situation and it's a sad reality because all over Africa, every country in Africa is suffering from bad governance. And one of the biggest issues that most of these countries in Africa are suffering from is corruption, man. Yes, bribery and corruption. Now, I've had people stop by, man, on my vlogs, man, say all types of things, and I do not blame you. But the thing is, you are not listening to what Mr. J has been trying to tell you. If you go through all my vlogs, some of you guys come on and say, Mr. J, you're an insulting us, this and that. Who are you to tell us this and that? Blah, 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 blah. It, it's, it's okay. But you see, I will tell you that um, where there is bribery and corruption, ethics fly out the window. If a foreigner comes to your country and he knows... Somebody tells him, you know what, I know somebody who can help you get a South African ID. And they say, okay, this is how much? 1,000 US dollars. And that person comes up with 1,000 US dollars. Of course, they, they will block him to somebody who is actually one of you guys. I have said it on this platform that you guys put the, the, the wrongest people in, in, in position of power. You guys have voted into power politicians who do, they have no business being in power. They have no business doing what you guys have entrusted them to do because they lack ethics. Any person who receives bribe is actually an unethical person. But the sad reality is, when the apartheid end in South Africa, and then the government started changing, handing, you know, going from Nelson Mandela to the next, to the next, to the next, what happened in South Africa is this. Most people in position of power, they started sacking. They started kicking away those that were competent and they started bringing in their tribes members, their friends, their family relatives into these positions. These folks have no business being into this position. These are the people that are easily bendable. When they see money, oh, I would like to make an extra cash. And somebody say, hey, I can pay you 5,000 Rand to give me a, a South African ID. And this man is thinking, man, if I do this, I'll have an extra 5,000. What if this person brings me 10 more people? I, you know, that is how corruption works. You guys have been blowing all types of noise, all types of vuvuzelas online, all types of things, and you do not even want to look at your own people. I have said it on different vlogs on this platform. Look, corruption doesn't work in, in, in isolation. It takes two to tangle. 
It takes a foreigner to ha with, with money who is willing to pay a South African in the position to get what they want. And then you people are all screaming loud on the top of your voices. Hey, send immigrants home. Hey, foreigners this, foreigners that. I'm, uh, I apologize, man. I'm sorry that you feel this way. But the truth of the matter is, South Africans are working to get these people there. And I showed you guys, man, on uh, Cash for Days, man. It was on Carte Blanche, a program that is South African. And this guy went on the cover and he spoke. And you saw how easily it is for illegals to stay in South Africa. Now, I am glad that you guys have started waking up. If at all you wake up, if at all you wake up, the former president said in, in a speech a couple of hours ago that the country has immigration laws. They just need to implement them. Now you have a police officer or you have an immigration officer or a BMA officer. He earns a salary. But if he sees a way to make more than his salary, they will ban. Now, these are people that have no business of being in that position. And I, I will tell you guys, man, from one African brother to you guys, I know you guys don't like listening to what Mr. J has to say a whole lot, but this is the problem that is destroying our continent, bribery and corruption. But the thing is, you need to accept the fact that those who are perpetuating all these things are your brothers. It's not immigrants. An immigrant will just come to your country and they want to stay permanently. They just go like, just like the case of crossing the borders. This guy will pay 800 rand, 1,500 rand, and somebody takes it and gives him a permit. That is how it has been working. Now, let me tell you something, to be honest, if somebody comes into a country and uh, the people in the country are angry, right? The first thing they need to target are the authorities. You do not target these people. You ask the authorities what the problem is. But the thing is, you guys don't just have patience. You guys just want to, I don't know, you guys are on a different level of, hey, just go let me just hit my kind and which is what led to the to the issue of xenophobia a couple of years ago and i know that it's boiling over it's getting to that level you feel me now uh regarding this cheating my situation you guys said the mother stole i did this and that hey let the home affairs investigate these things and you guys should crucify those south africans in position that are promoting this issue of bribery and corruption this is what i want you guys to do but no you guys are just yelling and screaming yelling and screaming yelling and screaming this is crazy bro it is it is it is it is ridiculous that we have to say this over and over but you guys still think that oh mr j are you insulting this and that no 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 I'm not here to sugarcoat things. I will tell you as it is. I have said it before, but you guys have this type of selective memory. You choose what you want to listen to, and then you you know you clap back without really thinking. Maybe some of our own brothers are helping these guys. Even the situation of drugs you guys are talking about. A foreigner cannot come into your country and get involved in drugs without having people in your countries that they work with. That is how crime functions. Crime doesn't function in isolation. When will you guys get this and realize that you are voting the wrong people into position of power? You are voting on ethical people. And then when we want to talk about it, you guys get offended. Now, I want you to leave a comment, my, my black star, my South African brothers and sisters. I want you guys to leave a comment because I have said it before. There is no way you will tell me or you will convince any rationally thinking person that less than 5% of a population is committing the crimes whereas you guys are 70 to 80% of you. There's just no way. So man, the sooner you guys get on this issue of figuring out who is involved in corruption in your home affairs, the earlier you guys will solve this problem of illegal immigrants. I am not for illegal migration. I am not for that. I do not stand for it. But if you keep shouting 
outside and not knowing that the problem is in your house it will keep going it will keep going on and on that's my time and you guys stay blessed you feel me happy sunday man peace